My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some LibWork RPA. Today we will see how we can compare two Excel columns in LibWork. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about LibWork and RPA. So let's get started. First, I created some sample data to us here. We got a column A with some numbers in, a column B with some numbers in, and then a resource column which is empty at the moment. We want to compare column A to column B for each of the rows. So here, 5 is greater than 2, and we want to write in here that B is greater. Here, 8 is greater than 4, again B is greater. Here, 6 is greater than 2, so A is greater, and so on. Let's see how that is done in LibWork RPA. Close down the Excel sheet and click New. And I strongly encourage you to have your own LibWork Automation Studio open and do the operations with me because you'll learn a whole lot more than just watching. Just pause the video, it's designed for that whenever you need. So click New under Flows, then click Flow. We could call this Compare Excel Columns like this, and we have a blank canvas except for the start. So first we want to read the Excel. So drag out an arrow here, then find a read Excel here. And we want to se select a data file to read. And it's just the data file that uh, where our Excel sheet is. Mine is here on book one. So open. And then we can define the range uh, in the book where we want to read. And we want to read column A and B, so mark them. We can see we can select different sheets if there were any as well. Then we want to use the first row as header, that's the A, B result here. Click save. And we can see that the two column names come up here. So that's fine, so far so good, and we'll click expand. We want to iterate, that means go through each row in the Excel sheet. So in the method, we will choose iterate instead of just have a fixed row. So choose iterate. So far so good. Then we want to compare. So we'll drag out a compare here. Here. And we have a value A and a value B and we can click expand here. So let me drag this a little bit further out. So connect value column A with value A and um, column B with value B. The names, they are just coincidence. They could easily just have been GDP from Denmark and GDP from Sweden. And we want to compare those two into value A and B. So it's just a coincidence that they are named A and B. The comparison method is that we want to find out if A is greater than B. So here, and if that is true, then we will come up here in, on this node up here. And if that's incorrect, not true, then that means that A is not greater than B and B is the greatest then we will come out of this incorrect here. So let's just create a log message to start with. So drag this guy out, search for the log message, like here. And we can say here that A is greater. And uh, down here in the incorrect, let's drag it down here. Uh, find a log message again. B is greater, right? And then we can choose to have uh, some sort of, this one will end in a fail because we haven't added a pass when it ends. And you want to um, place the pass here in the completed. So whenever this whole iteration is done and the log file is written, we want to have a pass. So search for pass and then uh, put that in like this. Let's try to run it. Now it's only a log file, but we can easily write it to Excel again. And here we can see that, um, let me scroll all the way up. That reading row 1, 2 is not greater than 5. That's hard to argue against, so B is greater. And again, 4 is not greater than 8, B is greater. And then A, A, A. So, so far, so good. Let's edit it. Click the pencil. Now we can write to Excel. So first we want to choose to write it when we are up here. So uh, drag this guy out. Write Excel. And we want to choose the path. That's just the path of our, oh sorry, that was book one here. Open it. We want to define the range in where we want to write to, and that's just the result, right? Here. And use first row as header, that's the result, and click save. Then click expand. So we in the result, that's what we will write in the column whenever we are up here, A is greater, and that's just this value, the message. We want to write that into uh, the cell, so we connect the message here with the result. 
Then we want to tell Liebwerk uh, which row that we want to uh, write to. And we will use the current index here from this iteration and connect it to the row index like this. We can maybe move this a little bit further down. So now, sorry, now we uh, completed everything over here. We can, uh, we can um, have the same one from um, whenever B is greater. So uh, let's have another right cell, Excel. Here. And the path, that's the book one again. The define, we will define the range. That's just this one. And the first row is header, like this. And let me just uh, scroll a little bit down so we can find it, then expand it. The result is again that B is greater now. And the row index, that's just the Q index. So let's connect this one as well to the row index. So now we're done. We can uh, take a look at the workflow before we run it. So first we will read the Excel sheet and iterate through each row. Then we will compare it. So whenever A is greater, we end up here and right here, and B is greater down here. And we take keep track of what index, what row index we want to write in, with this current index to the row index here and there. And finally, whenever it's completed, we added a pass log message. So uh, let's try to run it. And by the way, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. So here in the log, we can see that it's actually passed and uh, the log message is written and we have written some things to Excel. Let's see if that match our expectations. So let me open it. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Liebwerk and RPA. And here we can see that B is indeed greater in the first two rows and otherwise A is greater here in the last three. So that's how you compare two Excel columns in Liebwerk. That's it for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.